the 2020 season just bizarre in almost every way that that you can think of tell me what it was like for you um first kind of the uncertainty of when you were going to start and all the health and safety protocols you had to go through um, a shortened season no fans in the stadiums just, just kind of all of it yeah um man when you put it like that um it certainly is overwhelming um you know the hurdles that we had to jump over um a lot of things we had to overcome and just in getting the season started um i'm our i'm the player rep for the for the mariners so um in dealing with the negotiations on starting the season i mean times were stressful and um you know as everyone can relate you know we were getting new information weekly about the pandemic um about the availability of you know, starting a season and um, testing and everything that goes into it. But with that, like you said, there's a lot of health and safety protocols that we still had to adhere to. Um, you know, every other day, you know, getting tested, getting swabs, uh, saliva tests, um, you know, and then just staying, um, you know, kind of quarantined to your house and to your family. Um, you know, not having a normal season where you get to, you know, socialize with people outside that group. So. Um, you know, certainly it was very different. We were all very grateful to, you know, be playing and doing what we love. Um, however, there was that, you know, thing missing. And I think it was, it was the fans, it was the energy in the stadiums, um, you know, and sharing those experiences with our family and, and, uh, and friends along the way. We certainly missed out on that too. You still put together, you know, arguably your best season as a major leaguer, uh, seven and two with a 3-1-0 ERA, seven walks in, in almost 70 innings, which led the American League. How, how were you able to, to, to do that in such a distracting season? My focus was a little bit more honed in, I felt like, um, and I definitely felt more connected to my team as a group, as a unit this year than I have in years past. And I think that's just because of the adversity that we all faced. You know, we had, a, you know, common adversities in, in the pandemic, but I think I really held uh, held on to that in, in a lot of my starts and, and really pitched um, with a lot of emotion more so this year than in years past. And I think that's kind of what you saw is, is just an elevated emotion and um, intensity. And then also just with the state of our team or where we're at in our in our rebuilding phase, I really feel that we're, we're turning a corner and um, you know, really kind of putting some some valuable pieces into place. And and so it's just, it's contagious to be around. And um, if you, certainly if you're a Mariners fan, there are exciting times ahead. Um, and, you know, the players certainly feel it. So I hope the fans do as well. So coming out of Gonzaga, you were a first round pick. A lot of media members kind of putting a chip on your shoulder and saying that, that they don't see you as an ace or a number one starter. And I know your, your general manager, Jerry Depoto said, he thinks that, that you took that personally. Um, and kind of the, the proof is in the pudding in terms of your, your numbers from last season. How, how much truth is there in that? Do, does that weigh on you at all? Or do you not really play into that? Honestly, it does have a factor. Um, and it ha it's had a factor on me for the majority of my career. Um, I can think back to a time in high school when I was getting turned away from schools like University of Arizona, um, you know, bigger Pac-12 schools that I had interest in and, and just simply wouldn't give me the time of day. And, um, you know, obviously Gonzaga was, um, it is an incredible school, an incredible athletics program. And so not knocking them, but I chose to go there and I, I played there with a chip on my shoulder, um, proving to everyone else, um, every other school that I belonged um, at an elite program and that I was going to, I was on a mission to make Gonzaga an elite program. Um, and that's where I'm at now. It's the same situation where um, the Mariners are, are overlooked at times. And um, certainly I've been overlooked a lot in my career, but um, you know, I, it, it's it's uh, it's humbling to know that my general manager stands behind me. Um, certainly, the players that I'm around on a daily basis stand behind me. And um, if you've ever seen me uh, put in the work and 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 do some of the things I've been able to do, um, then there's there's no doubt about that. I'm going to pitch for a long time in this league and, and win a lot of ball games um, and just continue to prove people wrong because I've made my whole career out of that.